Question 11 is a knowledge based question on remainder theorem. Factor fully 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1. Now, when you start such a problem, first thing is you should figure out what are the possible factors, right? As you know, they should be factor of 1, the constant term, and uh, factors of combination of constant term and the leading coefficient right so the possible make a list of all the possible factors so for the constant term the factors could be so these are the possible factors right so plus minus one and then the factors of two are plus minus two and one so we get ratios of plus minus one over two right so these are the combinations and plus minus 1 over 1 will be this. so there are four possible combinations now what we should do is we should figure out whether which one of these will give us a zero which one of these will give us a remainder which is zero correct so what we can do is we can plug in the values one by one and try it out so let's try it out so we say p of 1 is equals to when you plug in 1 what do you get we get 2 times 1 cube is 1 plus 1 squared is 1 plus 1 minus 1 this is not 0 right plus 1 minus 1 is 0 but then you get 2 plus 1 as 3 not 0 right anyway let me write 3 here let's try the next value minus 1 so minus 1 will give me minus 1 here so I got I can write minus 2 here right and minus 1 will become plus minus 1 and minus 1 right so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and then I get minus 3 so that is also not a factor let's try half so p of half will give us 2 times half cube it will be 1 over 8 plus half square is 1 over 4 plus half minus 1 right let's try to figure out how much is this so 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 now this could be written as 2 over 4 right then I have 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 so I get 4 over 4 which is 1 right and 1 minus 1 is 0 let's add like this 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is half and half plus half is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so we get a factor here so the value of half gives us the factor so what should be the factor right I've seen that students coming so close to the answer and even not getting it that's kind of sad let me change the pen now so p of half that means 2x minus 1 do you see that? 2x minus 1 is the factor because here this will become 0 when x is half do you see that so 2x minus 1 will give but we want x minus half right so basically let me write like this first so it should be x this is gives us a factor so x minus half will give us the answer which I could write as half of 2x minus 1 is it okay so we'll forget about this half and write 2x minus 1 as our factor right now so we will divide this given polynomial with 2x minus 1 to factor it fully so we get 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1 okay now so you, you should multiply 2x cubed divided by 2x is x squared so we write x squared here and then multiply with this we get 2x cubed minus x square right and when you take away then we get 2x square correct this becomes 0 this becomes 2x square let's bring out bring down x and now 2x and 2x square it goes x times so 2x square minus x and x minus of minus x will bring us to 2x minus 1 and that will go one time 
2x minus 1, which is 0. So we prove 2x minus 1 is our factor. And therefore, we can write the polynomial, which is 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1 is actually equal to 2x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. So that's our factor. Now, you can try factoring this, right? Now, 1 times 1 is 1, so you can't get 2. You can try quadratic formula at times, right? So minus b, b squared minus 4 is c. So b squared is 1 and 4 times ac will not give us a real rule. Let me show you this work here. So if we use quadratic formula for x squared plus x, we get so this is a is 1, b is 1, and c is also 1. So we get minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a squared. Is that okay? Now here, b is 1, and a and c is also 1. So we get 1 squared minus 4, which is negative under radical. So this cannot be factored further. Do you see that? So that is our final answer. Got it? Now, so, so the answer is px, which is 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1, is equal to 2x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. Correct? Okay?